California's governor shuts down their psychedelic bill, and will Thailand recriminalize cannabis? This is Katie with Berry Heel, keeping you up to date with the latest in cannabis news. Thai government considering recriminalizing cannabis? Thailand has had medical cannabis since 2018 and decriminalized cannabis use in 2022. In the past year and a half, Thailand has seen a green rush in business and tourism. Thailand is one of the only Asian countries that is not strict about drug use, whereas many others like Singapore have more severe punishments including the death penalty. The newly elected government officials are more conservative and feel that Thailand has become too infiltrated with tourists that are too interested in just consuming cannabis. If they rectify this new legalization, then cannabis will go back to only being legal for medical use. Here's to hoping that Thailand keeps cannabis decriminalized to allow those who have already set up shops and farms to continue their booming businesses. Octopi taking molly? Scientists did a study by giving octopi MDMA to see how it would affect their normal behavior. Octopi are normally lone wolves and not social whatsoever. They will in fact only get together to mate and otherwise will fight and try to eat each other. When given pure MDMA, the octopi was very docile and friendly towards each other, similarly to how humans react on the substance. John Hopkins conducted this study since human and octopus brains have many similarities. The study concluded that there is a correlation between serotonin and social behavior. What other animals would you like to learn more about when it comes to hallucinogenic and stimulating substances? Thanks for watching. To show our appreciation, we're offering our viewers $20 off when you go through us at veraheal.com. For new and reoccurring patients, use code HALLOWEEN20 at checkout. Newsom stops psychedelics bill from going into effect? The governor of California has put a halt to their latest bill to decriminalize psychedelics. Newsom claims he needs a better course of action before California can even consider decriminalizing hallucinogenics. The governor brought up another point as to why he would not sign the bill, which is that there are no regulated treatment guidelines with dosing information, rules to prevent exploitation during guided treatments, and medical clearance of no underlying diagnosis. Although there are some concerns and more work to be done, California is on the right track for mental health. So go ahead and like this video and subscribe to stay up to date with the latest in cannabis news.